All right, welcome to episode 17 of our class mission playthrough, seeing how fast we can level with every experience perk and bonus applied that we can find. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get our timer rolling here. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, we are in a double experience event, and in that double experience event, we um, are stacking on top of that a whole bunch of different perks. So the first one we have is a set of armor that gives us a 50% XP boost. We have a consumable XP buff here, so that gives us a 25% boost. Then we have a guild perk that gives us a 15% boost. We have a guild ship perk that is going to give us a 7% boost, so tax a little bit on there. And then we have turned on the class mission and exploration 30% boost in order to try to maximize those. Since we're only doing class missions, we were hoping that that would really make a difference. And so we are on Voss, and we are level 66, so we have outleveled the planets. So easy to keep up with planet leveling, because the original game, going through the original planets, only took you to level 50. But what we were hoping to do is get all the way to 75, just using the essentially original planets. Uh, at the pace we're going, especially here on the last couple planets, looking unlikely. But we will see. Maybe there'll be some kind of a big experience jump that we're not thinking about. Um, I think Voss has five class stories, and Corellia might have six, if I looked it up correctly. Uh, we are getting 300,000 per 370,000, so we're probably up to 400,000 close. Um, so, that's about 400,000, that's a 4 million experience that we could potentially bring in. Will that be enough? I have to look up the XP charts and see. Uh, one thing I did notice is I could not find accurate and up-to-date charts of how much XP it takes per level. Uh, so I created new ones, and I'll be sharing those with the community as soon as these videos start to go live. So if that's something you're interested in, um, I will either share the link in the description, or if you follow me on Twitter or Discord, I'll have the links posted there as well. So that way you can get to them. And I'm not sure, this is a pretty small base, so I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have enough guys to meet our bonus mission. So we will go ahead and take these out. You know, we're 12 now. Probably okay. But I want to make sure we are, like I said, I think coming up a little short on the 75 goal. We hit 50 a long time ago. Which, like I said, that's what the original planets were designed for. So, can you level fast enough to keep up with the planets? Absolutely. I don't think you would even need the double experience boost. Uh, if I took a third of my levels away, so we're going to be now 66, so that'd be 22, that would put us at 50, 44, we would be right in the pocket of where we should be. So, okay, that ended the, the bonus experience, yeah, 148,000. So yeah, I think you could actually do this even without a double experience weekend. I think it would definitely be possible. The double experience, so not weekend, the double experience event. Um, that just makes it even easier, so we'll take it. All right, some more bags of experience. I wish those gave experience. They give conquest points and um, credits, but if those gave experiences, it would definitely help. But they do not. Now, we did get the experience for meeting our conquest goals. Um, so that does give a good chunk of experience, but not each individual item. All right. I believe that's an improvement, so we'll grab that. We're not equipping the gear, because if we break up the set bonus, then we would not get our experience. Okay, where are we heading off to? Okay, that is the outpost that's between the two. That's a pretty long run. I think it's actually quicker to speed her that one, so let's go back out of here. Unfortunately, running now, we might be able to save ourselves if the class mission is up in the temple there. Then we can quick travel up there. I think that will actually gain us some speed, so... Alright, let us grab a little shuttle. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. Okay, so while we're traveling, we will clean up our inventory a little bit. I mostly just sell off the gear. Uh, it's not anything that I'm keeping. Um, I do look for companion things that I can give to my companion to raise his level. Um, so, Eric is up to 27 through conversations and giving him items and stuff like that. I did go ahead and buy up the bonuses that increase the percentage of those as well, so... I think it's 10% for each one, so 30% gain there as well. Okay, well that didn't quite get us far enough, so I guess we are hoofing it the rest of the way. But I still think saving this, if we have a mission up here, I know there's a planet story mission up here, but if we have a mission up there, having that quick travel up there will save us some time. Okay, if we look at the major map, uh, there's this area, uh, area on the right, area to the south, I think the north area is all bonus mission stuff, uh, so we'll be skipping all that as well. So we'll see how things go. Okay, the smuggler's hideout. Cool. This is sometimes convenient. Um, Kinda of sucks if there is a bonus mission involved, but I don't think there will be here. So, saves us a little bit of combat if we're trying to run through an area. Um, it does deprive us of the XP though. Alright, I think we did level this check. Oh, where'd my head go? Did he come back down? No, I think he's floating up there, so. He did not make the ride with us. Okay, there are enemies in here. Let's kill, kill a couple just to check for. There is a bonus mission in here, so. We will complete that. Five is not bad at all. And just to make sure we do it before we trigger anything, let's go ahead and get these guys down here. I would not want to give up 150,000 XP for doing that. It was worth it. Okay. I wouldn't want to run in here. Oh, it's in a phase, so we probably wouldn't know. But I wouldn't want to trigger the mission and then lose that. It does happen on occasion. Um, a mission leg might change over, and so you get a reward, and it breaks breaks that. So, what do we got next? Heading farther in. All right, this should be pretty quick. Oh, it's nothing behind us. Wasn't the other guy back there? What did he do? That gave us the mission, did not support us very well. Alright, you're free! I don't know if we're freeing them or not, to be honest. There was a force field involved. Uh, so unless you've played the story missions recently, it is easy to lose track of exactly what they're asking you to do. Uh, we spend a lot of time just chasing the, the purple icons, so... 
All right, return to the senator. Where are you, senator? She, senator, is back in the main base. All right, so that clears this side. I'm going to guess we go south next. I can't remember. I think we go down here next and then end up over there. Unfortunately, our uh, mission that we picked up to go up to the temple was not needed. Uh, there's a planet story mission up there. It's pretty good. Uh, I couldn't remember if there was a planet story mission up there or not. Also, I noticed we didn't trigger the exploration for the city here, so we will go ahead and take like a wide turn. There we go. Don't know why that didn't trigger the first time, but again, 12,000 experience, so worth checking out. Let's see what the senator has to say. I'm sure it was very, very interesting. All right, locate boss commandos. This is convenient. Okay, so we've got the savage connections down there, and I think that's going to help us very, very much. Because without that, we would have had to have... There's a travel point over to here, and then we had to run that entire thing. Now, you could argue that the downside is, you know, there's probably about four or five areas between there, so it's 50,000 experience that we're giving up. But to get the mission done quicker, I think that's a fair trade. Um, the other downside is we didn't unlock the travel quick travel point for, for that area either, and so that can be down the road if we needed to come back. That can be an issue. But, all right, where are we trying to get? I'm guessing there's an instance in there somewhere. Go ahead and take out one guy just to see. I doubt there's a bonus mission out here. If there is one, it probably will be inside. All right, so let's head back. Yeah, there's our there's our instance for our class mission. I'm sure there's going to be enemies in here. That's pretty quiet. All right. Yeah, all right, there's at least a fight. And we'll see if we trigger any bonus missions once we get through this. Yeah, there's some enemies up there. So. All right, so we'll fight our way in there. Uh, let's kill the easy ones first, because if it gives us a bonus mission, then we'll clear the area. Oh, that was a misclick. But we'll see if any of it gives us a bonus mission. It's not looking like it. Alright. Don't think we're going to be able to sneak by these guys. We'll see. Oh, nice. That surprised me. I thought we would pull aggro on it. Alright, 392. Investigate the crash site, which is where? Alright, so that is over in the that area. That's a pretty long run down there. The actual base is right in here. I honestly think it's going to be quickest to do a travel on that one. So let's go ahead and quick travel back. And then we'll take a shuttle over. All right, as we're doing the shuttle run, we will go ahead and do a little bit of data collection here. So there's the one that we didn't go to. Um, so we don't have a quick travel point to that. Okay, at the 15 minute mark, we are level 67. And we are looking at 1,117,567 experience. What's it taking per level right now? About 1.3 million per level. Like we did a rough calculation, we said we think we have about 4 million left. So that is, I'm thinking 70. We hit level 70 by the end of Karelia. That may be the limit. So we will wait until we get to that point. Um, but in speculation mode, just kind of thinking about it right now, it might be, if you wanted to just hit 75 only doing this. Now, again, there's plenty of other things we could do. We could do heroics. We could do all kinds of stuff to get those levels. And that's actually fine. Um, but if you wanted, for whatever reason, you just wanted to say, you know what? No, I only want to do the class missions. You could spend some more time actually fighting. You know, I've been skipping a lot of combat, not really going out of my way to engage in combat. And that has cost us a lot of experience, so that could be a way to do it. Um, the other thing that I think would add a little bit of time, but not a ton, would be instead of just doing the class missions, doing the class missions and the planet story missions. Um, they are usually located in very, very similar spots, and so you're going to be going there anyway, and picking up that extra experience as you kind of work your way through um, would make a huge difference. So if I was going to do another run-through with the double experience and everything, that might be worth trying. Um, I did a test run on... Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, that's survival. Um, I think on Terrace. And... Took about somewhere between 45 and 50 minutes doing the class missions and the story missions. Um, so I think that would be achievable. That'll probably kill me. So that could be another strategy uh, that could be used in order to... Ooh, that's going to get me killed. Run away, run away. Oh, okay, that's what we're trying to get. I wonder what that glowy speeder was. All right, let's go ahead and heal ourselves up here. All right, to finish that thought, though, uh, I think if you did all the class missions and the planet story missions, so just the purple ones, not all the side missions and stuff like that, uh, that would easily make a difference, so... Not eligible to enter, probably because we have to do this. And then now we can go in there. So, um, in hindsight, looking back, that might be a better way to achieve this. Now, again, if you mixed in anything along the way, like I said, if you just did the heroics, it probably would be enough experience to push you up over the edge. Or if you PvP'd a little bit, or did some flashpoints, or whatever it happens to be. Uh, I think they would all be valid ways to gain that extra XP. So, that is my. Before I analyze the information conclusion, but that seems to be where things are leaning. Alright. Are we going deeper in or somewhere else? All right, so where is that at? That's actually pretty close to our base, so we'll quick travel back. Uh, double check. Sometimes I've blasted out of an area too fast and forgot to click on something, so I think we're safe. So your experience may vary a little bit, uh, but like here, you know, there's a, a planet-level story mission attached here as well. 
And for the most part, the developers have done a good job of basically grouping things together. Think of it like a, a giant theme park, right? You go to one area, you do all the attractions and everything that that area has to offer, and then you move on to the next area. Um, well, the quests kind of generate the same way. You know, you go to an area, all the quests are kind of bundled together in that area. Once you complete all those quests, then you move on to the next area. So um, you wouldn't actually lose a ton of time doing the quests, um, and you lose very little, little time traveling to them because they'd essentially be right there. All right, so we've got a bonus here. I'm going to hope that... Okay, that's not an instance, so... So I hope that the, the base we're going into here actually has enough to to give us what we need. And it appears we're on the right track. Imperial Demolitionists, we have to keep an eye out for. I'm going to guess that they are going to be the Silver or Gray Star guys. Uh, they have a special designation, and we want to do three of them. So they're probably set aside as a droid that's stronger. All right, well, the 15 seems pretty straightforward. I don't think we have any problem with that. Uh, where do we need to go? There is a lot of ground to cover, so we're going to skip what we can. So like I said, even here, like I could fight my way all the way back through here and probably gain a lot of experience doing that. But we are mostly trying just to see how fast we can get through. And then at the end, if we decide to continue on to 75, the Colonel, Colonel, I see any demolitions. Uh, we can find another way to, to finish that leveling, so. All right, well, we got those guys done. Okay, yeah, the demolitions are further in, so. Let's see. No, we don't want to fight that guy. Okay, we're going to do the runaway mode while we can. Hold the line out of that. And we're just going to let Eric... Oh, crap. We're not going to go to the instance of it. Let's see. Let's see if we can get far enough away that it drops us out of combat. Come on, Droid. Give up. Give up. You don't want to fight us. I don't think I can get much farther away. All right. I guess we're fighting the Droid. Oh, uh, the best lead plans. I would have been quicker just to kill it in the first place and get the experience for it. 7,000 experience. Like I said, that's giving up a lot of experience about fighting things. All right. Demolitionist. Which ones are you? There's one. There's one. Let's see if we get these guys all to group up. Keep walking, keep walking. Alright. Ouch, that ain't hard. Let's get this guy taken care of. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, that saved us. Alright, so, I don't know if it's a secret, but... One of the cool things about leveling... Oh, it might not have saved us. Oh, I've still got Eric on passive. Holy cow, that was embarrassing. Alright, so we're getting no healing, so... I was about to say, it's like, holy cow, have we gotten that weak because of our armor? But now, we forgot to turn our companion back on. And if you want to fight things, especially if you group them all up like that, it's probably a good idea to have a healer. Alright. We almost pulled it off, though, even without Eric participating. So that makes me actually feel pretty decent in that I think we're going to be able to get through the whole the whole planet run without even slotting our armor. Which you can argue, is that a broken part of the game? That you don't even have to upgrade your armor to get through it? I'm not sure. But it is what we're doing. All right. Let's see what we have to do next. We're using the keypad. What are these guys doing? Are they going to fight us? I think so. Usually you gotta try to get rid of as many of the ads as you can, and then we'll just burn down the boss. Again, I pop the shield less because I'm worried about the, the damage reduction, but it does give us a, a reflection. So it reflects damage back. So it's just like doing more damage to the boss. All right. Yeah, if we survive that, I think we're okay from a gear standpoint. All right, return to the Senator. We're gonna assume we're back in the main city. Yep, and we are sitting pretty decent on time. If this is the end of Voss, yeah, we'll gain maybe another half level. It still puts us on pace for 70 by the end of Corona. But I don't see 75. Well, we might as well grab everything we can. I don't think it's make a difference. But... No, that was a horrible one. 353 experience. Um, so it's interesting. Sometimes it seems like the lore objects actually do scale with all the bonuses. Uh, you'll get some really good ones. Sometimes not. I don't know if you call that a bug, but it is definitely a discrepancy, depending on which ones you put on. But it's worth the shot. All right, let's see what we have to do that. Yep, that's the end of us. so... Alright, let's go ahead and go back to our ship. We'll do a little admin maintenance on cleaning up our inventory and everything before we push forward into the next section. Which I think is another visit to Coruscant and then potentially wrap it up on Corellia. Now we'll go ahead and jump back here. We'll repair our armor. I don't think there's anything up there we need to keep. So we will sell off all of this gear that we're not using. And go use our hollow terminal. And we've got a minute left. At 555, definitely an improvement. So we'll take that. Um, while we have a minute left, let's go ahead and see how many of these conversations we can blow through. Oh, he must have left. He's back. Congratulations. All right, 42,000 for that one. Oh, let's go Lara while we're here. I'm not sure what just happened. She might have triggered the, the romance option chain going through that. She seemed very happy. All right. We are running out of time, but let's go ahead and 
just for completeness, we'll finish up all the companion quests stories here, and then we will take a measure of where we're at as we kind of go into the last section of the playthrough. And then he was off on a mission as well. All right. Uh, well, Treek and HK don't have any more missions, so I was hoping they would, and that would give us a good chunk. So, all right, let's go ahead and pause the timer here. So, both at the end of Voss and at the end of this episode, we are level 68, looking at 985,848 experience towards the next level. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. All right, welcome to episode 18 of our class story only bonus XP playthrough. We'll go ahead and get our timer started here. So, we have just finished up Voss. We have to go to Coruscant to continue the mission. Let's go ahead and clean up. We can't take these off anymore. We've hit our daily abandoned level, which I was not aware was a thing, but we have abandoned so many missions in grabbing all the heroics for travel purposes that it will no longer let us abandon missions today. It's a daily limit from the warning we got, so we will go through and clean them up tomorrow. Uh, we have Corellia left, uh, so what are we trying to do here? So we're using only the class missions to see how fast we can level through from zero. Uh, all right, so we have to speak to senators. I'm going to assume in the Senate Tower. I don't see anything else, so let's jump back to the Senate Tower. Where are we at? Government space, but... All right, so let's jump over to the Senate Tower and see what happens. I can't imagine the Senate... Oh, let's... Just to be safe, let's go take a look at this. Yeah. Okay, yep, we're good. Uh, so we'll quick travel to the Senate Tower. Okay, so where were we? Uh, we were talking about we were doing all the class missions and we're stacking every XP boost that we can. So it is a double XP event going on right now. And so that gives us 200% right there. Uh, we are wearing a set of armor that gives us another 50% bonus. We are using the major experience boost, which is a 25% boost. So that helps a lot. Uh, we are in a guild that has a 15% XP bonus. So we use that as well. The guild is currently running a 7% XP bonus boost on the guild ship. So we're using that as well. And for class and exploration missions, we actually have another 30%. So that's why we're doing only the class missions to try to maximize the XP. Uh, we also did another version of this where instead of just doing the class missions, we went ahead and went through and did everything on the planet. So starting on the starting planet, all the way through, we did all the side missions, the story missions, pretty much everything that the planet had to offer to see how fast you could actually level that way. Um, I'll us back at our office. So that series is also available. And then we will do a conclusion video between the two just to kind of compare the differences between them. Um, so we're keeping track of how fast we level um, every 15 minutes, we're trying to take a reading on how much experience we gained, and then we're going to plot that out and see. Um, I can say, again, not to be spoiler-driven, it has been, whoa, I think we blew right past where we need it to be. Um, we have actually leveled slower doing it this way. Um, we're already more episodes in than we were there as well, so that should be relatively obvious. All right, we're not going to directly travel. I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to talk in our terminal, so we will go up to our ship. Um, so we're already more episodes in now. We haven't leveled as fast, but on the flip side, we will be completing the story. So if that's important to you and collecting the epic companions and stuff, you have to decide which one is doable. What we were trying to prove is that... It's possible to not have to do every single side quest, every single mission, in order to stay current in the level. We have more than done that. Um, if you look at where we're at level-wise, we're already 68. Originally, you would finish Karelia with 50, at level 50. So the fact that we're so far over, we are definitely keeping keeping things moving forward. Uh, but I don't think we're going to make it to 75. Now, that is just in the, the original planets. You know, there's tons and tons of stuff to do. Um, we haven't done um, Ilum. We haven't done Makeb, Oricon. There's whole chapters of the story. So plenty and plenty of opportunity to actually level up. But... The original challenge was to see if we could do it in, in the original story. So um, let's take a look and see how this concludes. So we probably have one, maybe two episodes left as we go around Karelia and finish this up. And then we'll take stock and see where we're at. At that point, we'll decide what is next. Um, one could argue that Ilum was in the original game. And so we might go ahead and continue on to Ilum just to see if that gives us enough to get to 75. I, I'm predicting, I think we're at what, 68 right now. I'm thinking we'll hit 70, maybe pushing on to 71 uh, by the time that we finish Karelia, but not much more than that. I don't think um, 75 is within our grasp. Yeah, we're almost 69. We're at 68 right now. Um, so, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and push our way through Karelia, and then we'll decide what we want to do. Now, we have done this in the two most extreme ways. Do only class missions and do everything. Obviously, there are lots and lots of different combinations that you could fall into there. Um, so, would we have hit 75 if we would have done only class missions and maybe some heroics? Or only class missions and the story missions for the planet itself? I think absolutely. Um, I think that's stuff that we could have easily done. Um, if we just would have fought more things, you know, we probably could have got there as well. Um, okay, you'll notice that I went ahead and grabbed the heroics. Uh, we do that to try to save ourselves travel time. Um, if we grab the heroics, we can often jump around the planet using these quick travel buttons for areas that we haven't been to yet. So that's why we grabbed those. I mentioned in the last episode, um, I did not know this was a thing. Um, there is a daily limit on how many missions you can abandon, and we hit that today. Uh, we've been grabbing the heroics on pretty much all the planets, and then just abandoning them when we leave the planet. And I think when we wrapped up Bill Sabas, we hit that limit. So now we just are hiding them until we can turn them off tomorrow. So let's take a look. Oops, wrong key. Uh, yeah, we got some from Boss, one from Bell Sabbath, so that's what we're at there. Uh, we probably should, though. Let's go ahead and use up our available skill point. That is something we definitely want to do. We'll grab that, just to make our healing a little bit stronger as we work our way through stuff. Okay. Time to do some talking. We're looking for the instance area. Always look for those nice green doors. And let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that's a nice little bump of experience, so that's nice. Right, where are they going to send us off to? 
Okay, that appears to at least be in the same area. Unfortunately, it also appears that we have to travel all the way down there. So I think we go off the north side. We should be able to drop down. No heroic close to it, so out we go. I've mentioned this before, uh, but it's definitely worth repeating. Uh, the game was designed to give you things to do along the way, so you'll notice you know, we're skipping some of these missions here. Um, so these big long travel sections that we end up having to do, the original game gives you things to do in between, so that's kind of the way the pacing of the game is designed. But when we're skipping all of that, you do spend some time doing exactly what we're doing here. So let's see, we're about 40 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's see how much time we spend just traveling. All right, that is something I did miss. We're going to quick travel back. Um, there is a bonus in there, and I didn't see it. I wonder why that entrance lit up. All right, where is it at? It's in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, we need as much XP as we can get. So this is definitely worth a, a second look. That is one of the issues that you'll run into if you if you do exactly what I'm doing here, where we keep skipping all the stories. You don't pick up on the things it tells you to do, but um, how much was that worth? Yeah, 139,000. Worth the trip back. All right. We are going to set a new timer point here for our travel, though, just to kind of see how long that's going to take us. All right, so... My original goal, I thought I could get through this in 8 hours, we've obviously blown past that. Right, we're 41, 49. Um, not sure, I'm thinking we might be closer to 10 by the time we get to 75. There is a slim chance that we would actually finish Karelia in 9, but I don't think that's going to happen either. I think we're going to end up having to do a final Karelia episode, so... We will see. I think Karelia has a lot of missions, so... Yeah, well this says 6 class story missions, so... It might be one of those that also gets us some more levels, which would be nice. All right. So that's our first minute of traveling. Or we haven't done anything. Well, probably a minute and a half, maybe, down there. We'll see. Now, I wouldn't recommend playing this way if you want to enjoy the game, enjoy the story. Um, we're doing this more as a, just a thing to test out. Um, if you want to completely maximize the speed at which you level, well, air quote level there, you can buy an item that will automatically create a new brand new character at level 60, I think 65 or 70 now. Um, so that's the way you should probably go. Um, not spending all day grinding out a, a character through stories. Um, but if you were playing the game anyway, I'm not necessarily trying to do it for speed. Uh, I did want to provide the information that says, you know what? Yeah, I've played through eight Repu Repu I've played through eight Sith or eight Republic characters, and I no longer want to do all those side quests. Can we actually just skip those and do just the stories, uh, just the class story? So yes, I think you can. Um, this is the most extreme version with all of the XP buffs. I think you could also do this with out an XP weekend, and you could probably pull this off as well. Um, if you were doing that though, I would guess you'd probably have to also do like the planet stories or something like that, or supplement your experience with something like the heroics, um, because that's going to take out probably. Let's call it a third of the XP that we're gaining in doing this, so that would definitely slow you down a bit. Now, if you want to slow down just a little bit and actually play the game and enjoy it a little bit, you're probably also going to do more combat and different things like that, which would help your leveling. All right, once we get this guy, we're going to go ahead and do a quick level check. We are level 69 at the 15-minute mark. We have 447,121 towards 70. So the thing I do like about MMOs in general, the style of play, is they're definitely designed to let you play the way you want to play. So if you want to power level through the stories, you can do it. If I've heard a lot of players that really enjoy PvP. Um, they'll jump in, they'll do the, the first couple of planets because they get you your ship. I got to finish Coruscant or uh, Dromacost to get the ship. And then after that, they don't touch anything else, they just do PvP. Uh, so that is definitely a way to go as well. I think we have to fight everything out here as part of the main mission. So that's definitely an option. Um, there is a 30% buff for PvP as well, so that exists. There's also one for flashpoints, so if you want to do flashpoints, you can do it that way. Um, space missions, I wouldn't try to level that way. You could level completely through GSF, that would be an option. Uh, I know some players that might actually do that. I think there's one more on the platform up here. And we've cleared everything. So there's definitely options. Play the way you want to play, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. Don't let other people tell you you're playing wrong. Just play different. Um, I don't think I would ever play this way if I weren't doing it to collect the data. Uh, it doesn't feel that productive, but I did want to find out if it was possible. And so that curiosity is driving me forward. All right, let's see what they tell us to do next. I think we got a dark side choice in there. All right, where is it setting us to? Okay, so we're staying in this area. Again, I don't see anything close, so we're going to have to travel out. I where he came from. There were some more people back there. So. All right. So, 47, 46. We are time stamped to see how long it's going to take us to travel to the next area. All right. Try... I can't tell. I think we can get through there. Uh, I don't remember. So we will go forward and see. That's going to take us down there. I don't know. We might have to go around. Let's see what it looks like over there. That looks pretty blocked off. About over here. That's promising. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's just do this. And hope. Hope we don't get ourselves trapped. All right, I think this got us on the right path. Um, so, another thing that you'll see a lot in game development and design is that you try to... Like, this planet's obviously even more... There's all kinds of fallen stuff. I can't often create maze-like structures as you try to get through. Um, but you can try to bend those rules a little bit like we did and just try to find the most efficient way through. 
Um, I've been in guilds where they actually do guild races on speeders. And it's interesting because if you know the area or the map well enough, you will find certain things that there's just shortcuts that exist that maybe weren't ever intended, but it does make it quicker to get through. All right. Let's head this way. We have got dropship guards and then the alarm. So just to make sure that we get all the experience we can, we'll make sure, oh, it's in an instance, we should be fine. Uh, but we'll make sure we clear all of the guards. These guys count as guards? Let's hope so, because if so, oh yeah, this will go pretty quick. These guys will be pretty easy to kill. Because they are just normals, not strongs or gold elites. All right. Oh, there's one strong. He's all by himself. That won't be too bad. All right, so what do we got? 50-28. I didn't really pay close attention to our travel time. That wasn't too bad. I would say I wouldn't worry too much about that one. I don't think we wasted a ton of time traveling. Uh, if you go back and get the, the Hoth videos, a little bit on Tatooine, there were definitely some times in those that it just felt like you were spending three quarters of your time on the speeder and very little of your time actually doing the missions. All right. How I many more do we need? Like five more. And so that got a little bit frustrating just because everything is so spread out. But again, like I said earlier, that is because it's designed for you to be doing other things in those areas, not just traveling from mission to mission. So I'll give the developers a pass on it. I don't think it's their fault that we're playing this way. But... All right. Where do we need to go? Look for the glowy button in the tent. Right, return to Garza, who is in the casino. Thankfully, there is a quick travel point to that. And so that'll make our lives a little bit easier. At least speed-wise. It's a general pattern. Getting to things the first time takes a while. But getting back usually isn't too terribly difficult because you'll unlock either the travel points or different things. So. Alright, through the story we go. 400,000. Our next piece definitely jumping up here. Now the question is, where are they sending us next? All right, looks like Labor Valley. We do have a heroic that looks pretty close up there, Biological Warfare. So this will save us from having to take the tram. We will just quick travel up there. Now I hope we get close enough to... I don't know if we're going to make it over there. Um, ideally, what we would want would be to get close enough to the travel base there that we would actually unlock the quick travel port. But unless the missions naturally take us over that direction, I'm not thinking it's going to be worth driving over there because just for the story missions, the class story missions, I don't think we're going to have to come back here. Um, now, we were playing for for real, you know, and you would want to return. Uh, I got suckered in by the lore object and have to fight a guy. Was it worth it? Yep, 19,000. So I mentioned this in the boss video. So I pulled a lore object on boss and it gave us 383 experience. That one gave us 19,824. Now, it could be because it had a codex entry. No, I think they're all codex entries, so... And yeah, there's definitely some inconsistencies. I think for whatever reason, some lore objects just don't have the right... You know, whether it's the code chunk or the attributes attached that get impacted by the, the XP boost. Um, all right, let's see where it sends us next. Yeah, we're still staying pretty close. I do like that. But if you see a lore object, again, it's just a little bit more experience. The 383 is kind of a waste, but I wouldn't turn down the 19,000. So we'll go ahead and take that. Okay, in we go. Oh, we got more good guys. So travel and talk, travel and talk, so... I think we're just going from cell to cell and rallying them. All right, back out we go. So again, you know, if you're playing the game and enjoying the stories and things like that, like, this mission would probably be a little bit more fulfilling because you're not just space through the conversations. There's actually context there, um, and in my opinion, gameplay gains a lot. Um, I think gameplay is number one when it comes to general game development, but story gives gameplay context. It gives us a reason to do things. Right now, the way I'm playing, all we're doing is flying, pressing button, flying, pressing button, or driving. And really probably not the most engaging gameplay if you think of it from that standpoint. Uh, but if you got into the, the story and you're enjoying the conversations and this is the climactic final battle and you're rallying all the troops together and really, you know, paying attention to these conversations, then this mission series right here actually makes a lot of sense. It's a good mission series. When it's just right click, space, 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 right click, space, 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 that's not the most engaging. So you have to keep that in mind. And hopefully nobody gets too terribly down on the game because of the way I'm playing it. All right now my question is, I think we'll go north. I don't remember Labor Valley well enough. I think there's a big park up here. Um, I don't think that's going to get us there. So uh, without the map unlocked. I don't remember, but logically, it would make sense if we went this way. You could argue that going down this way might run us by our travel point. I'm not willing to take the risk. Unfortunately, we don't have... Ooh, so they shot us off our speeder. How dare you. Um, I don't have a heroic mission up there. So we will have to do the travel. So what are we at? 5737. My gut tells me we will be arriving at the next mission right at the end of this episode, which will give us, I think, one more. Um, I think we'll be able to finish up Corellia in the next episode, and then call that the end of the original missions. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode, or maybe earlier in this one, then we'll have to decide where are we going next. Um, do we want to push all the way to 75? I think Ilum makes a lot of sense. Um, Ilum was part of the original game, and so the spirit of kind of can you level to 75 with the original game stuff, I think would still be met by doing that. Yeah, we're good here. Um, so uh, that might be the way we end up going, and then we'll take stock at the end of Ilum and see, okay, did that actually work? Uh, I'm not 100%. I think you can cut through there, but I'm going to play a little bit safe since... We're really just kind of traveling this out and we'll, we'll stick to the road. Um, at that point, um, I would also argue that Ilum includes a flashpoint as part of its class story. I don't know, it's not really a class story, we call it a planet story. Um, so if we do that, we might even get ambitious and 
unlock the flashpoint XP bonus as well, just to try to really push us over the edge. I think it's going to depend on where we end up after the end of Karelia. Uh, we're obviously going to hit 70. I'm not too worried about hitting 70. Is 71 in our sights? I think so. Uh, we still have a few areas to get through on Karelia. Is 72? 72 seems to be a stretch. Um, but then we can see how many actual levels we can pull off on them. So that's where I'm kind of leaning and as far as where to go with this. Um, I'm a little surprised. I actually thought we wouldn't even get to Karelia. I thought we would end up with level 75 far before we actually got to the end. So this is definitely did a little bit of a stretch on longer than I thought. All right. We are at the nine hour mark. We're going to stop the timer. We are level 69. We have 1,142,455 XP towards our next level. Um, so this is where we will start, I'm thinking, the, the last episode of Karelia, and then we will decide where we go next. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watched all the episodes, we do appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya. Welcome to episode 19 of our class story maximum XP playthrough. So in this one, we are on Karelia. We're finishing up Karelia, and we are working to see how much XP we can get just by doing the class missions. So a little bit of setup here. Uh, we need to go ahead and redo our buff here, switch that out. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so we'll do this conversation and then kind of explain what we're doing here. So one of the things that we're trying to accomplish is just to see how much XP you can get by only doing the class missions on all the planets. So we have stacked as much as we can. So it is a double XP event. So that already starts us off at double XP. Then we are wearing a set of armor that gives us a 50% increase in XP. Uh, we just applied the consumable buff. So that gives us another 25%. Uh, we are in a guild that has a 15% buff going and also a 7% ship buff um, to XP. So that is all stacked up. Now, beyond that, we are also working on class missions, so we went ahead and put the perks in for 30% class mission and 30% uh, exploration mission buff. So, so it's one of those that hopefully we thought we were going to get us there. Now, as you can see, we are halfway through Karelia, roughly, and we are currently sitting at level 69. So a couple of things there. One, we absolutely have gone past the level 50 that the original planets were intended. Um, we don't appear to be on our way to 75, though. Uh, getting to 75 in the original planets seems a little bit ambitious. Um, so that is not actually taking place. Uh, where is Garza? Garza is over on Axial Park. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and travel. Now we have unlocked the heroic missions, and we did that for this very reason. Uh, if you look at the map, we would have to normally travel over there via speeder, but there is a heroic mission relatively close to where we need to go. So we are going to go ahead and use the quick travel of the heroic mission to get us over there. This save us a little bit of time. Uh, we are doing two video series with this double XP event going on. Uh, oh, no one going there. Uh, the first one is um, this one. No, it's not the first one we recorded, but of the two, we've got this one where we're doing just the class missions. And then we also did a second one where all the same setup. Um, so, you know, double XP, all the same buffs and XP bonuses and things like that. Um, but instead of only doing the class missions, we went ahead and did everything on the planet from the very first planet. So in the case of the trooper, starting with uh, Portmanteau. And then we just ground through to see how much XP we could actually generate, especially on those low-level planets. Um, already, uh, if you're looking at the length of these two different video series, depending on if you're watching this as I upload them or later on, you'll notice there are more videos in this series than there are the Do Everything series. So that one ended up winning. Um, you got experience faster doing that. Uh, but we are still curious about where this is going to lead us. So um, like I said, it's not looking good that we are going to hit 75 uh, by the time that we get to the end of Curly here. Um, so we may continue on and go ahead and, in the spirit of the original game, Ilum was part of that as well. And so we may actually continue on to Ilum to see if that's enough to push over. Now, I don't think this is a, a shot against the game itself. We are pushing the leveling far beyond what the original intent was. And there's tons and tons of content after the original story. Um, so if we wanted to level all kinds of different ways, we absolutely could. All right. So there's level 70. Um, and we still have some missions to go. So we are hoping that we can push through to, I think 71 is possible. I think 72 is on the outside edge of what we're actually going to get. So let's go ahead and apply a couple of things here. We don't get another one of those till 75, so we're good to go there. All right, let's head out. So that's kind of a recap of where things are. Um, we've recorded the entire experience, so all the episodes, if you're watching this one, are definitely available. We're also going to upload a conclusion video where we'll take and we'll actually analyze the, the information. You know, we'll analyze what happened, what the rates were. Uh, we've been trying to keep track of how much XP we get um, every 15 minutes. Uh, take a reading. I think I've gotten them all in both playthroughs. Uh, there might be a, a data point too missing that we'll have to recreate um, off of the video in context, but assuming that I've got all of those, uh, what we'll do then is we will dig through and actually plot those out. We'll plot out how much XP we're getting at every quarter hour mark and just see what the rates are. Uh, we might actually find that while the early planets were quicker um, for the do everything, it might actually tail off as we get to the, the later planets, um, at least for the ones that we did. So that is where things are. Um, I've mentioned this in some other videos, but one of the downsides to only doing the um, class stories here is you spend a lot of time doing exactly what I'm doing here. That's on the completely other side of the map. It's designed to have all kinds of other missions in between that one and kind of your final destination. And we're skipping all those. So we do spend a lot of time kind of in this mode where we're just traveling, trying to get there. And that does heat up a little bit of time. But that is kind of part of it. So again, I don't want to take that as a, a shot against the game or the game development because we are playing the game definitely not the way it was intended. Um, now that being said, um, even without a double experience weekend, if you had the, the gear, you put the consumable buff on and you bought out the perks, I think you could comfortably level 
at the pace the planets are supposed to be by only doing the class missions. Um, that seems a very achievable thing to do. Um, if you did the class missions and the purple planet missions, you would definitely make it as well. And I think if I would have done this that way, where I did both the class missions and the planet missions, not on the side quests, but the main story arcs, we easily would hit 75. That's a lot of experience we left on the table by not doing those. Um, so that's where we kind of are from a on-the-fly analysis. As we kind of compile all the data together, we'll, we'll get a little more in-depth in our analysis of what happened. Now, obviously there are plenty of other ways to level your character. Uh, there's flashpoints and PvP and pretty much anything else you want to do in the game. Taking this all-in, only doing the story missions approach, probably not practical from a normal gameplay standpoint. Um, but we did choose to do it this way so that we could collect the data and just see what the difference are. Um, I've made sure that I've played solo all the way through, so I've not been in any groups. I did everything I could to keep essentially the, the playing field the same between the two. The only difference being on um, which missions we actually did. All right. I think that covers pretty much everything, so we're going to get back into the Karelia side of things. Um, it's been a mixed kind of walk down memory lane. I haven't done the story missions for um, any class in such a long time that it's interesting to revisit some of these things. Now, that being said, we are space bar skipping and taking the default response on all missions, so arguably we're not getting a lot out of the story. And that's kind of another point. Uh, because we are doing this to try to get through quickly, uh, we are missing a lot of what this content was designed to be, and that is the, the story. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. This is not the, the way you would want to play the game if you were looking to enjoy the game. See where we plant the explosives. Right there. But it has been kind of fun to see a lot of these locations that I can't say that I've seen in a very long time. Uh, I haven't leveled through a lot of characters for quite a while. Maybe the Dark vs. Light event. It's been a long time for some of them. All right, where do we need to go? Disable sensor it is. Thankfully, that looks relatively close, so we don't have to go out too far. Also, you know, sorry, I haven't been bothered looting. Uh, anything that takes just a little bit more time. You know, if you do something that only takes a few seconds, but you do it hundreds and hundreds of times, it definitely will add up on yourself. Haven't been looting. Um, we haven't been collecting resources. You know, all the normal things you would probably normally do in the game. Just to try to keep the pace going. Uh, especially in this playthrough. Um, the quicker we get to the class missions, the quicker we get those big chunks of, of experience. Hey, did I pick all the right ones here? Don't seem to have there. Just my check over. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. So we need to find a couple more arrays. Any more down there? Nope. Any up here? Don't see any. And so for in this playthrough, I've also been oftentimes scouting around and avoiding combat when I can. Um, in avoiding combat, we are also giving up lots of experience. So uh, if you look, even just that last fight, that was a 20,000 experience fight. And that's one of those that if you do a lot more combat, obviously there's the potential for a lot more experience. All right, I guess we are going to go up here. Let's see if we can find any up here. I'm not sure how spread out they are. They all look to be in this area. So it's one of those, the trade-off is faster to get the missions done, but you gain less experience, right? That was a 20, 26,000 for that fight. So that's a lot of experience where, what are you leaving on the table? All right, I'm feeling like, oh, there's one. I thought I was definitely missing something, but it might be in certain places, and I just don't know the correct location. So let's see, if we picked up one here, we got one towards the middle there. Let's assume that they're somewhat spread out and don't respawn. We'll work our way back this way. Let's see if we can find one on the other side of the circle. Oh, there we go. Using a little bit of logic and also looking for a big group of guards. Okay. Speak with Garza. Where is Garza? She's in the next area, so looks like we have a couple of missions that we can grab over there. So let's do the Starfighters Corellia. And again, we're not going to run the Heroic. We're just using it to get us traveled closer. There's two ways to get to the new areas. Um, you can do what I'm doing. Um, now, it's definitely closer here. And you could have made an argument that we could have went to Axial Park. And if we would have actually... I would have had to come all the way back up here to get our quick travel and stuff like that. I think that would have taken longer, so. So we're trying to do all the little shortcuts that we can do to make things go faster. The other part about doing it this way, uh, let's say it takes roughly the same amount of time. When you're traveling via the travel speeders, not on your own speeder, uh, you don't gain the exploration XP. Uh, so we actually get that as well. And on this planet, that's going to be a decent amount. Let's see how much we get as we go into this new area. It should pop up here. So what do we get? 14,284. It's a respectable amount. We're trying to get there. Probably need to go that way. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to get the experience for that, so let's go this way and actually get ourselves on the right track. All right. So we have hit the just past the 15 minute mark. Um, you could argue we might take that 14,000 experience off, but we are level 70. We are 431,794 towards 71. Um, but again, that 14,000 may have hit after the 15 minute mark, so we'll check the video. And if it did, we'll take that off for the data calculations. But the actual playthrough doesn't really make that much difference. Um, the other thing that you would probably gain. Um, I am doing data tracking and recording and different things like that and talking through different systems. If you were just playing the game, you know, you would probably gain a little bit of efficiency as well, and that would speed it up a little bit. Uh, arguably, uh, we are nine, coming up on nine and a half hours into this to go from level zero to 70 in nine hours isn't too terribly bad. If you wanted to do it the absolute quickest way, um, then what you would probably do would be to go ahead and buy the token that just automatically creates a character at either level 65, 70. Uh, depends on when you buy the token, what the maximum level is. Uh, they do adjust that as the game changes, and so when you watch this video, that might vary a little bit as well. Uh, we're going to pop over here, since we're relatively close to the speeder site. 
just to see there should be a quick travel point associated with it. There we go. So we unlocked that. That way, if we need to get back here quickly, we can using that quick travel point. I don't think we'll have to. Uh, I think we're pretty safe to not have to duplicate our travel. Uh, for the most part, the class stories, it's pretty linear as you work your way across the planet. Right? You just you keep working your way through, and once you visit an area, you, you move on. You don't come back to a lot of areas, although it does happen on occasion. All right, I think this is it. So I guess this is not going to give us enough experience to get all the way to 71. Um, let's see what happens. All right, nope, okay, we're not done. Cool. So it looks like we've got more missions to run. That's good. It's going to be a little disappointed if we only got halfway to 71. I took the long way around to getting out of this building. All right, let's head back this direction. I think... I don't know if going through there is going to be faster than just coming back the way we came. Although, if we do the Starfighters, is there another... I don't think there's a second one in this area. Sometimes there's two. Yeah, there's Starfighters. I think those are both... Both Starfighters, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing a... Another heroic. I thought I saw a circle that was different, but... Right, biological Warfare and... Under New Management. I don't think either one of those are in this area. Concierge. There's Under New Management. Yeah, there's Biological Warfare, so we are going to have to travel it. Probably should have checked that while I was driving. That's right. Alright, we'll cut up this way and then get ourselves over there. Unfortunately, we already used our Starfighters to get to this area, um, and they do have a 60-minute cooldown, so... You know, I guess if you want to completely maximize your time, you could go grab dinner and do it later, but that does seem like a waste. All right, so as we're traveling up here, um, let's see, other things in this area. So I think I mentioned that we did a, an all-in one. Uh, that one covered a lot less planets. Uh, we blew through level after level. It was crazy insane how fast sometimes you would gain levels. Um, and you were very, very over-leveled when it came to the planets there. Um, here we are still very over-leveled. We're 20 levels over the design of the game. So we're definitely gaining levels faster than needed. And then, like I said, there is tons of content still available. So you wouldn't even have to level as fast as I did to make good progress. And you would have plenty of other things to do. Um, we're going to probably continue forward Although we are out of class missions, the next logical conclusion for the early game version was to travel to Ilum after this. And so since Ilum is available, I think we might do that and just kind of count it as an extension of the main story slash class mission. Um, even though it wasn't unique for, for each class like the story the class missions are, uh, it will give us something to push forward. Unfortunately, just given the rate that things are going right now, I don't foresee us even getting to 75 with Ilum. We'll see how far we get um, as we kind of finish this up. If we somehow get a lot of experience and end up getting to 73 somehow, I guess it could be possible to get two levels on Ilum, but I think 72 is going to be ambitious, and I'm guessing we're going to be somewhere somewhere in 71 by the time it's all said and done. But we'll see. That's why we're doing the experiment. Uh, again, I know this playstyle isn't for everybody. That's kind of a power gamer, but I'm doing it more as an experiment, not necessarily as a, a way I would see a lot of people playing the game. Uh, if you take the information that we're gathering, the idea behind this is, if you wanted to play more casually, but you did not want to, you've done the, let's say you played the game three or four times uh, on the Empire side or three or four times on the Republic side, but there's a class you haven't done yet. And you just don't want to play through all of the side missions that you've seen a bunch of times. I um, wanted to see how practical was it to be able to just do the new parts. You know, the class missions would be new to you and still stay level. And at least with all these insane boosts on, absolutely, very doable. Um, could you do it without a double experience with all this stuff on? I think so. Uh, I think that would actually work as well. Um, I think you could get pretty close. If you don't have the armor and you're not in a guild, just with your double experience, you buy the perks and you use your consumable buffs. Because I've still got eight of these and I've only earned those in playing the game. Um, I didn't buy any of those. So I think that would also be achievable. And so again, you wouldn't have to do it in a, like a speedrun fashion. You could enjoy the game, watch the, all the cutscenes and the stories, but be rest assured that you would still be making good enough progress that you wouldn't have to do the content that you don't want to do anyway. So from that standpoint, we're going to call you know the experiment a success. Uh, we've definitely proven that it's more than doable. I am tempted, and I might not do it in quite such a cram everything as fast as you can fashion, but potentially trying that uh, with non-double experience. Just stack up as much as the experience boost stuff and just see. You know, maybe play through the first four planets and just see if, if they, it matches. Uh, see how close we can say to staying up on levels. But my mental math says, even if we cut a third of our levels off here, um, you know, so 20 some levels, uh, we would still be right at 50, which is where we're supposed to be on this planet. So. That's my, I haven't analyzed the data yet, conclusion, but it seems reasonable. Okay. I don't know if those guys on the inside there count. Are there any guys left out here? I don't see any, so hopefully they do. Um, I didn't want to go in there and kill those just in case they are part of the next leg of the mission, but I think we're safe to do so. There's four, and we need four more, so the math makes sense. Uh, the other thing that we've talked about as we've kind of gone through some of these is a stealth character could potentially play this a lot differently. Um, now that'd just be avoiding a lot of combat though, so that would actually slow down your level in a bit because you wouldn't be getting the experience from that either. All right. Yeah, 570 for that one. So that's going to help. Okay, that gets us into, into 71. Where do we need to go next? Up there. Let's do a quick check to see if there's anything we need to train. We do not. All right, on to the next. All right, we're two, two and a half minutes from the end of this episode. I was really hoping to be able to finish Kareli on this playthrough. 
not sure if that is going to be a doable thing. Depends. And what is this part of the mission? I think this one we made some choices. Uh, we may have made our life easier or harder based off the choices that we just made. Uh, we will see. It looks like we're heading there. I'm not sure where everybody else is going. Okay, so if I remember right, you could actually choose. Um, you've got different squads, different like armor and things like that, and you could send them on different paths. And based off of those decisions, you could essentially you know, make the, the mission easier or harder, uh, depending on what you actually chose. Uh, there's been a few times where we've had those decisions, and again, I'm just pressing one. Uh, that is my my playthrough style for this one, so that means that we choose whatever that gets us. Mostly that's just to speed things up. Uh, if we're just pressing one and not actually making decisions, then we don't have to worry about how, you know, analyzing the conversations, because uh, that would actually slow stuff down. All right. Go ahead and we'll pop our nice little shield there. I'm not too worried about uh, the damage it will take, um, but it does do a nice reflection, so it does actually damage them, and then that will help heal us, because every time they hit us, now we're getting healed. Um, one thing I have said in a few videos, I haven't bothered to put any armorings in this armor. So if you look at this armor, it is still rating 8. Uh, I haven't put anything in to improve it. Uh, partially because I didn't want to spend the time, and partially because it did finally get to the point where I just kind of wanted to see, can you survive with essentially little gear? You know, I've got a 114 here, a couple of 124s there, and that's it. I'm not, I'm not running a lot of high-end gear. And we're just doing Star Edition, so it's not, you know, we're not doing competitive operations or flashpoints or anything like that. So keep that in mind, but, but yeah, um, that's where we're at as far as gear is concerned. Sorry, I had a little bit of a combat brain front there. And I think he's stuck. So something that can happen, sometimes not be made it through. Sometimes when they get stuck on thresholds, um, when you move from area to area, um, that can happen. All right, we have gone past our end results. So when we fight these guys, we'll say we are level 71. We have 311,336 XP towards our next level. And that's what we're going to kind of leave off in this episode. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Join us on Twitter or Discord, and actually we can have those conversations as well. But until next time, uh, we will see you. Welcome to episode 20 of our class mission, bonus XP, boosted XP playthrough. We are four episodes beyond what I thought we would be. Um, I really thought we would get through this a lot faster. So that has been a little bit eye-opening. Let's go ahead and get our timer rolling. Uh, that being said, uh, we've made good progress. We are level 71 on a level 50 planet. We have only done the class missions and exploration XP. And so from that standpoint, the boosted XP that we're getting is actually pretty crazy. Okay, so I think we have to blow those things up in order to get the bonus mission. So what are the parameters of the playthrough? Uh, we aren't really doing the class missions. We are in a double XP event, so that is taking place outside of our control, but it is giving us extra XP. And we have a bunch of different XP modifiers stacked up. Uh, so the first thing we have is a set of armor. Uh, the armor actually allows us to get an additional 50% XP. Uh, so that's very useful. Uh, we also have the consumable XP buff going on. Um, so that gives us another 25%. And we are in a guild that has a 15% XP bonus, along with a ship bonus of 7%. So those are stacked up there as well. Uh, we have also unlocked the class mission um, perk character perk which gives us another 30% for class missions, so only for class missions. So like when we're fighting these guys, that 30% doesn't apply, only for the mission turn-ins. We also unlocked that exact same thing for the um, exploration experience, since we're going to be running around on planets, we figured we might as well do that as well. All right, did I miss... I don't want to go back too far, but there's clickables that... Let's just blow things up, and I don't... Is that it up there? Uh, let's we'll see if this is it. Yep. So that was 179,000 experience, so... While I did have to backtrack a little bit, because I hadn't bothered to click on those, for the actual play. Once I clicked on one and picked up the bonus mission, definitely want that 180,000 experience. So, all right, let's move ourselves forward. Hopefully the rest of our team is holding up well and doing their parts as we do our part. All right, there's a guardian, threshold guardian, blocking our way. So you'll notice that Eric is influence level 29. I've gotten that through conversations. I'm giving him a couple of companion gifts um, here and there, but mostly that's through conversations. In order to maximize that, we did actually purchase these. It gives us a 30% experience run on those as well. So that has helped. Uh, the higher his influence level, the more he actually heals us. Um, and that lets us survive a little bit more. That being said, we've run a couple missions with our lower, lower influence companions and they did just fine. So probably not hurting us a ton. All right, what is the next thing we need to do? Secure. Uh, I'm guessing that just means we have to kill a bunch of stuff. So they took the other path. And so it's kind of a everybody go your own way, meet in the middle type of mission, if I remember right. Hopefully our number one answers allowed for a very efficient rendezvous. I'm not sure if we sent the right people to the right areas. All right, finish these guys off. Uh, almost got him. And I think this will clear the area and allow the next phase to take place. All right, I've been grabbing some of the blue loot uh, just in case I can get some more gear, but it hasn't really helped. All right, this looks to be the party here. Right, hopefully we picked all the right things and get our, our people killed. Onward and into the battle. So this appears to be the final assault. Um, halfway to 72, I have a good feeling that 72 is doable. Uh, by the time we actually get everything done and turn in our missions and fight and celebrate and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully we can go ahead and pick up level 72. 
Um, but I still think that makes three levels on Ilum very ambitious. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, we burned through a lot of energy doing that, so recharge your energy here real quick. That doesn't happen very often. That area attack does burn a lot of energy, though. All right, let's give him a little bit of reflection. Not standing in fire. All right, that wasn't a bad fight. We knocked him back into the fire. Nice move, General. A wonderful killer. Do we get a chance to kill him? I'm not sure. All right, let's get out of here. Don't see any bonus missions, so we'll head for the exit. If this is the end, uh, we'll do any kind of last minute cleanup. Is that the person? Oh, okay. They're helping us get out. What a nice soldier. Ooh, that looks painful. They get rammed into us. That doesn't look good. I'm guessing we're not supposed to fight those, so we are not going to try. Uh, let's get out of here. Use your ship to travel to Coruscant. Right, when we get those, just to be completely safe, we are going to do it correctly. Um, on occasion, if you don't use the ship and you just directly travel, you might have to go back to your ship to do a, a terminal conversation or do something different like that. So we'll pop them here and we'll see if it tells us to talk in our hyperterminal or not. So we'll travel now so we're on the ship, it'll actually move the ship. And it doesn't look like it. Also, it doesn't look like we have any more companion conversations. So uh, let's go to the end of the plan. I'm assuming this is going to be in the Senate Tower. We'll check the map real quick before we commit to that, but I'm sure that's where the conversation is going to take place. Well, who knows? Could be in the starport. All right, let's go out of it this way. Yeah, looks like the Senate Tower. Uh, so we're going to quick travel to there. And it looks like at the halfway point, we will probably finish Karelia. I've been surprised. Um, even just doing the story missions, we're probably we're usually somewhere between half an hour and an hour for most of the planets. A lot of that's in travel. But it is one of those that just the core mechanics to move around and do the missions. It does have a time involved. Now, this is the grand conclusion, the epic conclusion, with all the feels and amazing accolades that you would get for doing it. And we just completely went through it. Uh, all right, we did not hit 72. Um, let's go ahead and turn these off just to clean up. Now, we can't remove these. I've hit the cap. The cap says that I can no longer dismiss and abandon missions for the day. So I just had to turn those off. Um, we are still only at 13. Uh, all right, travel to fleet. Again, just to be nice and complete, we will do it in the correct way. And once we complete this, we'll probably take an XP reading, because I think this will be officially the end of the, the story. But just in case there's one more big experience dump after this, we will we will make sure that we get that. So I don't remember the last time I actually used the ship and flew to fleet. It's been a very long time. I've got the emergency fleet pass, so if you're going to fleet, that's usually what you're going to do. I'm pretty sure Crystal Ball is the launch mission for Ilum, so I don't know that this is going to get us a bunch of experience. Uh, but just in case, and for completeness, we will go ahead and, and do that. Holy cow. I forgot that you came in down here when you flew in. That's been the fun part of playing back through a lot of these missions. Uh, it has been a while since I've visited some of these areas because the game mechanics now no longer make it a requirement. You can essentially zip around the galaxy just on your map without much thought. And so yeah, I can't remember the last time I was actually down in that area. Yeah, 353, so that's one of the, I don't say bug, but one of the ones that doesn't stay out with XP. Lower objects, you find those. All right, pretty sure this, yeah, it's the Ilum story arc, so we'll go through it just to make sure we don't get an XP chunk because of it. I didn't think so. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is we have a mission to finish with Eric, and so we'll go ahead and do that here in a moment. Uh, before we do that, we'll take kind of a final tally. Uh, we finished Karelia, so the original planets. We made it to level 71 with, uh, what is that, 1,245,471 XP towards level 72. Um, so again, like I said, definitely much more than the level 50 levels we needed for the planet, but shy of the level 75. So I guess I'm a little surprised. I actually thought that we wouldn't even need Karelia. I don't think we'd get to the end to do that. So uh, let's go ahead. We need to travel to Hoth here. So let's go ahead and finish this. It will give us a little more experience. Nowhere near enough to level. Um, but just to kind of say it was part of the playthrough, We'll go ahead and do this, and then probably in this episode, we'll go ahead and jump to Ilum. Since we're starting on one snowy world, we'll go to another one and see what happens. Oh, completely forget some of these planets have these areas you have to go through. So um, something I talked about in another video, but we'll bring it back up here. Little tweaks that I would like to see. Uh, one of them is once you clear a planet, um, being able to kind of go wherever you want um, on the planet. So when you land on the planet, you go ahead and you know either set a, hey, this is where I want to start, like any quick travel point, um, or even on this map, right? Like when I click Hoth, instead of there just being Hoth here, have all of the different quick travel points available so that you'd be able to kind of go wherever you want. And that would be nice. Okay, holy cow, is that a long ways down there? I think there is a Republic base down there. And I know there are no actual heroic missions down there. So what we're going to do, and this is arguably a waste of efficiency and time, but we're going to go ahead and travel down there just to make sure we said we did everything. Uh, so we'll go grab the speeder version here and see how far south we can get. We can get to there, so that's what we're going to do. I don't think I have been, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I've been any further south. Yeah, I haven't been through any of this, so this is as far south as I made it, so I haven't opened up anything down here. Um, unfortunately, you know, we're not getting 
um, exploration experience. So another thing that we probably could have done is explore the planets more, because um, that does give you extra XP based on exploring. But I don't remember if that is that a path we can go through, or is that a um, is that an imperial base? It looks like we're moving aggressively. I don't think we can just go south from here. Um, we'll check, but I'm pretty sure this is not something that we can pass through. Yep, that's just gonna get us killed, so. All right, so we'll go up and around the ice shelf here and then head south. So from a general mission design, this one's arguably a frustrating one. Um, I guess it depends on how close you have gotten with Eric. If you have decided that he is definitely part of your crew and you do anything you can to help him, if you've bought into that, traveling all the way down here just to rescue his, I believe it's his old friends, the Dead Eyes, is a commitment. Um, but he has been our healer through 71 levels, so we will go ahead and say yes, it is worth it to us. All right. I think we'll just keep heading that direction. So we're gonna have to go through that area and then through a whole other part of the map, I believe. I think there's a little tiny heroic area over here or something that if we drive through there correctly, we should be able to get a little bit more exploration XP. There you go. All right, let's take stock of where we are and where we need to go. I think that's an Imperial base. I'm not sure that we can go through there without getting ourselves destroyed. I don't remember. Yeah, that's an Imperial base. All right, so let's just see if we can go over the top. Might be able to get some exploration for the, the base. There we go. I don't, that wasn't so bad. I think in the old days, um, this would have put you into PvP mode because you're in the Empire territory. And so there was a danger to it. Um, but now we're relatively safe. So, not making for the most exciting of videos in that we are spending a large amount of time just traveling. Uh, but for the sake of completeness, I think it is worth making sure that we do this. I'm not sure that it was worth the trip. Now, the only thing, if it works out this way, this might open up a final couple of conversations with Eric. And if that happens, how much XP do we still need? Still need like 300,000. I don't think it'll be enough to actually push us over. That would have been pretty cool if in doing this we got enough XP to, to actually level us. But I don't think there's that much left in the Eric conversation. So probably not going to happen. Okay, I don't think we've actually accomplished anything but traveling for the second half of this entire video. Um, so this is a long haul. Now, I usually defend these kind of things by saying there's a lot of stuff to do in between. You know, there's other missions and different things like that. Not so much on this one. Um, outside of just a little bit of exploration, there's not a whole lot for us to do. This wouldn't have been something, unless I'd have to look. Um, there's a bonus series on Hoth, and it's down in this area. I suppose it is possible you know, that this could actually be linked in to the bonus series area. And so in that case, then, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's not so far out of the way, but... It definitely feels out of the way. But we have arrived. Arrived. And then that guy shot us. I'm gonna let him live. But I guess not. Let's see if we can get between these guys without going aggro. Okay, here we go. We have made it. Doubt there's a bonus mission, so... What we will try to do is avoid the spawns if we can. It doesn't look to be too big of an area, so... I think we'll easily get through it. I guess it didn't really matter. I was saying if I might have been able to get closer to that guy instead, these guys are all linked, so it wouldn't matter. Not necessarily hard fights, just slowing us down a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got. Try to stay over here, avoid as much contact as we can. I think that's our guys, so. I think we have arrived. I'm at a conclusion of the Dead Eye Saga. That's a lot of conversation there. Oh, Eric didn't like something I said there. Okay, back to the ship. Let's see what this got us. How much did we jump up? We only 200,000 now? Is that right? Maybe I'm doing the math wrong. Might be looking at the decimals wrong. Let's see where things land. Oh, we opened up a ton of conversations. That could be a good thing. Don't remember those being there when we came by before, so maybe we had to get this mission done. Okay, so that one wasn't a lot, but here's where we were hoping. Let's see what we get for these follow-up conversations. We have 44,000, but it looks like we triggered all the final conversations for all of our companions. So let's roll through these. Let's save Treek and HK for last because they tend to give bigger rewards. And we'll see if that works. Yeah, we're chucking away at it. Go ahead and get Tano back here. Yeah, they all seem to be getting about the same amount. Swing by, finish our conversation with you. 
All right, level 72. A fitting conclusion to a, a weird way to play the game. Now, HK doesn't normally give us a ton. He's pretty much in line with the other companions. So 36. Trick, on the other hand, she does a good job at us. Uh, she usually gives us 100,000 or so. All right. And use your ship galaxy map to travel to Ilum. We will go ahead and do that just in case there is a... Nope. In fact, we have to go onto the planet. So, um, we are a couple minutes early, but this is a logical stopping spot for this episode. Uh, we finished Corellia. We finished up essentially the main class story. Um, so the trooper story is done. Like I said, we have access to a lot of content. Uh, we can start all of these different things. There's tons and tons of XP still available, um, but we did not quite make it through, like I said, a class mission only version. Um, that being said, I think we'll do a couple bonus episodes because we did hit 72 and it would be nice to see if we can actually get to 75 on some of the original content. So that would be Ilum. Um, but for this episode, we're going to call it good. Uh, like I said, we hit 72. We are 163,372 towards 73. Um, does Ilum hold three levels? I don't know. Uh, tune in the next episode and I guess we'll find out together. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you next time.